Welcome to Southwest Yard and Garden. I'm John White. With me today is Craig Runyon, and Craig is Extension Water Resource Specialist. And Craig, we're going to be talking about sprayer calibration. That's right. John. For the homeowner. For the homeowner. Thank you for having me on the show. You're welcome. Uh, sprayer calibration is probably one of the more neglected and at the same time most critical parts of sprayer application for lawn and garden uh, purposes. Uh, to calibrate a sprayer correctly, there's a few basic tools. Uh, measuring cup measured in fluid ounces, uh, measuring tape to determine test area to be sprayed for your calibration, a simple calculator, and personal protective equipment. Uh, for sprayers that have had pesticides in them, you want to protect yourself even during the calibration procedure. There are basically four constants that you're calibrating for. They are ground speed, and if you're calibrating a hand sprayer, that's essentially the pace that you're spraying at. Uh, spray pressure, and spray pressure is one thing that's variable with these things, it, unless you can put in a pressure regulator, a simple inline regulator. The other constants are the type of sprayer tip, the specific size, and how many tips are on your boom. So those four things are what we're looking at calibrating for, and let's go ahead and start the procedure. John and I have measured off a test area 50 square feet. And John, if you'll time me while I spray this to see how long it takes to spray this test area. Okay. Ready? Go. Okay. Now this 50 square feet that we're spraying is simply the test area, and we know that 50 square feet will go into 1,000 square feet, which we're calibrating for, 20 times. Now we'll use that number to determine our total output per 1,000 square feet here in just a moment. Okay, John? 28 minutes. I mean, 28 seconds. Let's just say 30. Okay. 30 seconds. Next, we'll determine how much output we had with our sprayer in the time that we sprayed this test area. Now, we're gonna take a 30 second draw for the time that it took us to spray our test area. John, if you'll time me again. Okay. Ready, go. We'll determine our output in 30 seconds, and from there we can determine our total output per 1,000 square feet. Fifteen seconds. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty seconds. Our total output for the test area was six fluid ounces. In 30 seconds, that's what we drew. Now we know that there's 20 test areas per thousand square feet, so six fluid ounces times 20 is 120 fluid ounces total output per thousand square feet. Craig, let's review real quick for our uh, viewing audience uh, what we went over here in our steps. Well, the first step is we measured off a test area. In, in our case, it was 50 square feet. And we determined that 20 of those test areas will fit into 1,000 square feet. And then we timed ourselves on the test area for spraying, keeping those constants in mind, primarily the speed, how fast you're spraying. And we had six fluid ounces in 30 seconds that it took us to measure that test area. Multiply that times the 20 test areas per thousand square feet, and you have your total application rate per thousand square feet. And that was 120 fluid ounces? 120 fluid ounces in this case. Okay. So if we were putting out a product, say a herbicide pre-emergent that required two ounces of active ingredient over a thousand square feet area, then that means we would put that two ounces in 120 ounces of water spray it out over the thousand square feet and if we kept all our constants correct we should come out perfect at the end that's right if we come out uh, running out of material before we get to the end then we put the material out too heavy could damage something that's right. too and heavy. then if we end up going over a thousand square feet that means we're putting the material out too light we're wasting product and not, not controlling what we meant to control. That's right, and that means one of your constants, in this case probably ground speed, 
was uh, was changed from the calibration procedure. Okay. Well, Craig, thank you very much thank for, for, for being on Southwest Yard and Garden. My pleasure.